July 18th, 2022. I will be going to USA on July 20th, 2022. I'm going to Michigan for a meditation retreat for five days. So I started meditating in grade seven uh, from like reading self-improvement books. And I would meditate for like five to 10 minutes a day. And I've kept that habit until now. Last year, I was interested in exploring consciousness. Like, you know how some people, they take like drugs, they take LSD and uh, hallucinogens to go and trip into this other kind of state of mind? I was trying to do that, but with meditation. So I meditate for like an hour a day. And I'm going to be meditating for like six hours a day, I believe. So I don't know how I'm going to get through that. But that will be very interesting. Yeah. About to hit up the gym. What are you hitting? I think I'm gonna hit bench press and then squats. Bench and squat. And then like shoulders. Like and then shoulders. I got I gave him another cut. Basically, we pull up to Humane. And then uh, after the gym, so it's like 10.30 at Humane, uh, it's cold as fuck, he's wearing a tank top, he's wearing this, he's wearing this fit, uh -huh. wearing a tank top, I'm cutting his hair, uh, one of my boys pulls up the DQ and I dab him up, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> and uh, I was like, there's so many people there, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and then DQ doesn't sell individual hot dogs, like individual uh -huh. sausages, but the hot dog is six bucks, so Anthony's like, yo, could you sell us a sausage for like three bucks? And we were like bargaining with a the girl there, and Roy, and then uh, Roy finally secured the deal, and we we bought it for three bucks. And and she's like, "Do you want condiments? And do you want us to like heat it up?" And we like heat it up to like room temperature. And we <laughs> and we mix all three condiments into one into one basket. Oh, shit. That's and, then, what it looks like. <laughs> and I was cutting Roy's hair, and then Roy was getting a pump. He had his shirt off, just, just getting a pump. And we're like, "I bet." Time to film the TikTok. And then I go into DQ. I ask the girl like, "Yo, do you want to be in our TikTok?" She pulls up. She's in the back. She's actually in yeah, she's in the back. Oh, we fuck. filmed the TikTok, and she goes back in. She's like cleaning her stuff, and then, and I was like, "Now nah, we gotta get like a security guard, but like with a girl at TQ." Oh, <laughs> and I flow. I'm like, "Yo, do you want to be in our picture?" She's like, "I bet." Roy comes out. Roy does. Roy does a shoulder thing. Oh, he's, he's like this, and we're like, "No shot." Roy's to the game. <laughs> and then at the end, when she went back in, Roy was like, "I'll show you bad as fuck." And I was I like, think? "Yeah," I was like, "No." Let me get the photo of just him and her. Next step. <laughs> that goes hard. Grade 12 or grade 11? I'm grade 11 going to grade 12. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? How old do you think I was? I don't know, I thought you were at least like, like uni. Uni, uni like you right? Oh shit, yo, my bad, bro. my bad.
Yeah, I'm alone. How old are you? 20-something? You think I'm 20? How old do you think I am? July 20th, 5.55 p.m. Just got into my room. It's like a proper hotel. There are only like 10 people on this retreat. I'm still very much in a normal state. July 21st, 8.52 a.m. I feel slightly awkward, but this is a group of strangers. So I guess it makes sense. July 23rd, 10.25 p.m. Everything is beginning to come together just as all is beginning to end. Feeling more and more like my normal self. July 25th, 12 a.m. Today was the last full day and I'm leaving in the morning. Finally feel comfy in my position here at the retreat. I feel as if I'm now authentically myself. The sad part is that I'm leaving tomorrow. Y'all, you're in my block. I do vlog on YouTube. Yeah, 130. Uh, Delta. Hey, Raymond Sam. Airport. My flight back home is at nine, though, but it's like one. Uh, my friends, my friend Max is leaving at five. He has flight at five. Uh, my other friend Audrey, she's here until like three thirty. So I kind of have like six hours to burn. But uh, maybe I can meditate in the airport or some shit. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, vlog? Basically, I'm stuck here. Yeah. I like, I'm like 30 minutes out of the Madison airport, and we can just come get you. That's perfect. <laughs> we'll figure this Legit, out. We will. We'll figure this out. Max is gone. Audrey is gone as well. Uh, 4:10, so I have like five hours into my flight. And I passed security, so I'm really literally just sitting around for five hours. I don't have a book, I don't have anything to do to kill time. I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is my flight. 9.15. This is what time it is. 4.17. My flight's in an hour and 15 minutes. I wrote like a bit more on my short story that kind of started at the retreat. Uh, I'm on a journal now really not much to do. July 25th, 7.54 p.m. As I approach reintegration into normal society, I feel a bit of unease. This experience at the retreat was quite profound in a way that I can't really express it to people. I wonder if being the only person in Markham to go through it will make it feel as if the experience is less valid than it should be. The question of how do I navigate a world kindly when it is filled with so many unkind people is a tricky one. I'm feeling less judgmental and more compassionate, but it's a cruel world. Cruel enough to lend many of the masks to go down the path of believing psychological egoism. Why can't we be more compassionate? In what ways have we been socialized against empathy? Why have I found it so difficult to appreciate others authentically? 
I have so many questions for myself. I have so many things I want to know. But one of the things I know for sure is that I'll keep asking questions. I don't know what it is, but uh, I love I love Toronto. I love Canada. Thank God I'm not in USA slash Detroit. Summer, except it is a Toronto vlog, bro. Fuck, I love Toronto. Fuck.